Okay, I'm going to review this microscope as you can see here. And it comes with a PDF manual here. There they describe how to set it up and how to use it uh, on Microsoft Windows. I am using it here on the Mac. Setup and stuff is in here, right? <coughs> the software that comes with it here for the Mac, this orange ball, is saving pictures in the in the photo folder and the video folder on the user's document folder. And let's start this thing up here, okay? <coughs> you see, I can't move after I open it, the window. I noticed that, so it takes a long time for the software to react. I do have two previous pictures in here. See now, do I? Oh, here I can move. I want to put this here, uh, or a little higher up. Huh. So in options, I can change the resolution. There, I can change that the date and time is displayed, I can change the language, and I can turn on a guide. I have everything on. I can switch to full screen mode. What is this? Then I see the time and date up here. I can push the escape button to go back to <coughs> the regular window here. We see the reflections from the LEDs in plastic, glass, or whatever, so um, this here is the calibration ruler, and there I can calibrate how close I can get in here. <coughs> Let's put this over here to the side. This is when I drag and drop, not really very responsive. I have a timer button in here where I can set when this thing starts to take pictures and what interval video, what interval, how many and uh, here it shows how many it captures. I can do this with video or with photo. Those two. Um, close again. I can take video here, pictures there. Now let me zoom in closer. Let me see how close we can get what the maximum resolution is here. Okay. There we go. So this would be one millimeter from here to here. The small one here is half a millimeter, okay? Uh, let's get this centered. Here, as good as I can. Because I want to move in all the way, so I can turn this the wrong direction. All the way in. This would be maximum resolution. Oh, come on. Focus here. There it's focused. And then uh, let me see here. So every line is half a millimeter. So that's good to see, right? So this is one, two and a half millimeter from left to right. Let me see how this works at full resolution. <coughs> full screen mode, exit this. And then we can take a picture. The picture will show up here. There it is. And we could take a video. So let's try a video. Clicking on video, this turns red, so it's recording. So I'm gonna zoom out again. Let me take this up a little bit that I can put stuff underneath. So where is my focus? Now I notice there is a delay now between the video 
at what I do here. Okay, so let's take this away. Let's put a coin underneath. Here. That's the video, right? Let's stop the video. So the video will show here on the right, there, video. Or should show here, right? <coughs> then, see that it's lagging again. When you hover over the little tiny pictures, it shows the preview here on this side. Okay, so let's move in on the coin here. There. Focus here. Okay. And then we can go all the way in. That was this direction. There. I'm a little too close here. And you have to practice a little with all the with the mechanical properties of the soul setup here. Jeez. There we go. Okay, and then let's take another picture. So far, so good. So this is all this can do. Now, the as I said here, when you move here, this is not really... I don't know what the point is. I think here in this area you can't move. You have to grab it in the right spot. See, this... Window can only be moved when you click here where the name is. It's a little awkward, the app. Uh, if you want the faster performance, you can just cancel this. See how slow this is? Good. And then you just use the QuickTime app. And in the QuickTime app, you say, okay, new movie recording. Here, and then you select your camera as selected, high quality. So this would be the movie. And when you record, you see how many megabytes it spits out. Let me just have to do this here. It's a way faster performance. We see here the damages on the coin, the dirt on it, on the metal, <coughs> on the dimmer we can change the light, it flickers really like this, this is full brightness, and less, stop, and then this was 700 megabytes, right, and then we just save this thing. Let me give it a name here. Yeah, so we can save this. This is like a big file now. And I am... Uh, doing this here, so... After it's saved, this is like almost a gigabyte from full resolution, 5 megapixel video, 30 frames per second. When this is over here and done, we can check the movie inspector. I don't know if it can do this. Yeah. So this is how it recorded. 1280 by 960 with 24 frames per second. So 
that was saved uh, in the photo folder. I have my photos. This is the photo it took. View actual size. That would be the resolution here. It's not super great. As you can see, so there is some fake going on, I bet. Yeah, this is another one. The white dots here are on the plastic. So this is like some air on the plastic, I guess. In the plastic of this calibration ruler. And then I have the video folder, right? So the video taken the day here. So that's where I moved around yesterday a little bit. And as I said, the microphone doesn't work on the Mac. I didn't do much here. I was like experimenting with focusing and stuff. But so the video is actually fluent. There's nothing to complain about. So if you have a bug under there or what, that will work great. Would I buy this again? I think so because uh, it's good to like look at the electronics and stuff. It has a sturdy arm on here. Uh, I think it's a helpful tool.